Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for the month. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, first up, we actually have a trio of applications from the same developer. We've got a cleaner, battery time and a rocket VPN. So basically what we have is an application that will help you clean your device, keeping your storage free from junk and unnecessary files. You got an app that will optimize your device giving the best battery life possible. And you got an application that will help you keep your info safe while browsing the internet. With Rocket VPN, you pretty much have a free proxy seal that lets you encrypt your private mobile data. Essentially, it allows you to use your social applications without being tracked or having all your data being collected. You also get a free 500 megabytes to use every 30 days, although it won't be stacked or rolled over to the next month. So this is a great way to secure your connection and guard your privacy. Next up is the cleaner. This is a great tool to manage your memory storage and apps. You can analyze the recoverable memory storage and uninstall the apps that are not in use. And what more, it's simple and easy to use. A great app to boost your phone. The third one is battery time. This is a battery optimization app that will take actions to save your battery life. Here you have the time with estimated use of battery. Tapping on it will take certain actions like turning off auto sync, Bluetooth to extend your battery life and it will even notify you the time extended. Below you have options to change settings manually like brightness, screen lock time, auto sync and so on. A great app that provides a simple UI to optimize your battery. I highly recommend all three of these applications so that it can help your device run to the best. Next up, Droop. This is a great app for any phone. It adds a small floating icon which you can place anywhere it's convenient and if you slide it, it brings up all your favorite contacts, recents and all your contacts. You can drag the contact icon and drop it to whatever app you want to use it with, like call, text, send an email or WhatsApp and so on. And with this latest update, you can also add notes, create a calendar event and so on. At the bottom, you have a dialer, a search bar and settings for your languages. Dialer default view, apps, themes and many more. Also, this icon stays on top of all apps and games. So if you have to make a lot of calls and frequently contact others, this app will come in handy. Now next on our list is MyMail. If you have multiple email accounts and want all-in-one manager, MyMail app is one of the best email app you can go with. It allows you to add multiple accounts and organize them with a single app. Plus, it comes with some great tools. So this is your inbox. You have this search option which allows you to filter your emails with a list of different options. Now for me, filtering emails with attachments is very handy. Another cool feature with this app is that you can save the received emails as PDF for offline or sharing purposes. From the slides menu, you can access all your email folders or add multiple email accounts. And from settings, you can make changes to notifications, folders and filter settings. Another great option here is you also have options for pin or fingerprint. That means you can protect your email app with a pin or your fingerprint. It also has an inbuilt browser to open the links in your email. So a must have email app with some useful features. I personally use this over the stock email app because of the fingerprint lock and filter options. Now next on our list is Walls. This is a wallpaper app. Here you have different collections like community, editor's choice, material design and so on. You can choose from favorites or OEM wallpapers. Additionally, you have a slider menu to choose from your downloads, randoms and special wallpapers with blur effects or live wallpapers. Now once you have selected the wallpaper, you can download this or set it as a wallpaper directly from the app. You can also crop the wallpaper and give a blur effects. So this wallpaper app is my pick for this month. It has high quality wallpapers and a huge variety. Next up is GCloud. This is a simple cloud service that lets you store your sensitive data like pictures, contacts and messages. 
Now we do have a lot of cloud services like Google Photos to store photos online. But I use this app to save my text messages and my call logs as it comes with 1 gigs of free storage and that is enough for all my call records and texts. So here we have our timeline and gallery. On timeline I can see all the events like calls, texts, etc. I can see the calendar or filter the content. And here we have other options like dashboard to see the usage, data to select what to back up and store to buy more storage. You can also earn free spaces by completing these surveys. From the slides menu you can change your devices if you use gcloud on multiple devices. You have other options like clean my gallery, find my android and so on. And from the settings you can turn on auto upload, notification options and add a passcode to secure the app and so on. So a very useful app to store sensitive data, especially call logs and messages. Now next up, Parcel Track. Now if you're like me who receives a lot of shipping from different places around the world, this is a must have app to track your parcels. All you have to do is add parcel with its tracking ID and career. Then it gives you the current stat of the parcel and you can tap on it for detailed info on where it currently is and all the details about arrivals, departures and their timings. You can share that parcel details or edit them too. From the slider menu you can see your activities, inbox and enable notifications. Some great features like syncing can be unlocked with this premium version of the app. And you also get a widget showing the status of your parcels. Now if you have to track your parcel regularly this is the app to go with. Next up is Slack. There are a lot of other ways to send direct messages but Slack brings a new way of sending messages. You can create hashtags and start the group and it's easy to share files and photos with this app too. So here I have my current chat. I can chat to other channels I have joined like random or general and also create new teams from here. A quick note here though guys, joining channels or hashtags are public and joining teams are private. You have to add each member on team and you can randomly join any hashtags or channels. I use team a lot to chat with my colleagues and it's really easy to share documents. If I want to I can also send a direct message individually. So a great app especially for a group chat. Now next up is Trello. This is an app to create to-do list. A great feature of this app is that you can create group and add members to that list. And then members can add more lists and edit them. You can begin by giving a board name. Then you have different sections for your cards like to do, doing and done. From options you can add members, view activity and so on. All in all this app will help you stay organized while working in teams. Now next on our list is True Dialer. This is a great app from Truecaller that automatically analyzes the caller ID and gives you the info on caller's name or organizations so that you'll always know who's calling you. As you can see we have callers marked with True Dialer banner. The marked ones are the calls that received from unknown callers. The great thing about this is it's not even mandatory for callers to be registered on True Dialer as they use different sources to identify the caller. The app dialer helps you recognize caller from your call log and you can even search for contacts. Next up Zupa Widget. Last but not the least is the OC or OCEA for Zupa Widget. Basically this is an extension for the widget which is one of the most customizable widget for Android. You get minimal wallpapers, stylish widgets from various developers. So basically you get to choose from various grid sizes. Choose the ones you prefer and then tap on it. Select OC. Now select from the huge list of widgets that you like then you can go ahead and get started with additional customization. One of the best widget apps for Android if you want to have full control with the looks and layout of widgets whether it's for battery, time, date, weather and so on. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you found this video useful. I will be coming up with more episodes pretty soon. Thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.